Hi guys, I'm Erica. Welcome to Hack Your Health. In today's video, I'm going to go through this poetic, no, anyways. I can't really say it, but it's a yoga series out of this book, Asana Pranayama Mudra Bandha. So this was the textbook at my yoga teacher training, and uh, if you wanted a copy, it has the diagrams for all the different poses. And uh, I'll just give you a really brief introduction to what the goal of the practice is. So basically, there are corresponding knots in the body and the mind. In yoga, those are considered one. The body is an extension of the mind. So what you relax in your body, you also relax in your mind and vice, vice versa. As well, there are energy systems like the lymphatic system, uh, your blood and everything like that that are meant to be flowing freely in the body. And a lot of the time if you hold tension or stress or repetitive uh, ways of holding your body that are blocking that, it blocks energy and that can lead to either injury or disease or pain and the idea of yoga is that you are relaxing the body and the mind by loosening up and allowing the energy to flow freely without constriction. So this particular series is intended for beginner yoga practitioners or really anyone because uh, it's all seated so even if you're not feeling 100% you could still do most of these poses. Uh, for me it took about a week to get through the entire practice in one go. They are supposed to be practiced in order however if you're finding that it's too much in the beginning just stop uh, just stop part way through and try again the next day or whenever you have the time. And um, you can also rest at any point in Shavasana. Shavasana is just lying flat on your mat, on your back, with your palms face up and your feet relaxed out to the sides. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll answer them. And since it's a pretty long series, I'll just get started now. So you start in the base position, which in this case is legs outstretched. Make sure that you're on a firm surface and a yoga mat is really great. You could also use a thick blanket. You could sit on a carpeted floor, just something so that your body is supported, but also not directly on a hard surface. And make sure your back is straight throughout the practice. You always wanna keep your spine straight in yoga unless the pose requires otherwise. And you can lean back a bit so that your hands are flat. If you can't get your legs totally straight, that's okay, but make sure your back stays straight. Or you could also sit on a hard uh, cushion or a folded blanket uh, to make it a little bit more easier to straighten your legs. But if you can, sitting straight on the floor is definitely uh, the best. So you can have your feet shoulder width apart, and just take a few breaths in a uh, base position. So throughout the practice, you want to keep your awareness on your breath, as well as on the body part that is being used. Only move the specific part of your body that is part of the pose and keep the rest of your body relaxed and still. So first we're going to start with just the toes. So as you inhale, move your toes towards you, and as you exhale, bend them so they're moving away. So inhale towards you, exhale away, and do 10. Inhale in, exhale away.
Notice how it feels to move your toes. And then come back to neutral. And then the next is an ankle, the first of quite a few ankle poses. Uh, so you inhale towards you, exhale away, keeping your legs relaxed. So inhale towards you, exhale away. The movement is only in the ankles. Inhale, exhale, and do 10. So now we're going to move on to just the right ankle. So you're going to inhale as you move forward, exhale as you come back. Inhale forward, exhale back, this time moving around in a circle. So to the right and then to the left and back. Do 10 of those. When you've done 10, do the same motion, only the opposite direction. So you're inhaling to the left and forward, exhaling to the right and back. Be mindful of the circle. Try to make it a slow, smooth, full circle, moving only your ankle and keeping the rest of your body relaxed and still. When you've done 10 on that side, you can move on to the same motion with the left foot. So inhaling forward, exhaling back, going around in a circle. And the focus should be on the breath, the movement of the ankle. And you can also be mindful and aware of any thoughts that come up in your mind. And just allow your mind to be relaxed. When you've done 10 that way, you can just switch directions, inhale forward, exhale back, but going the other way. And then you can do rotations with both feet at the same time. Same thing, inhale forward, exhale back. Starting with going to the right and forward, exhale to the left and back. And the breathing is through your nose.
When you've done 10 that way, switch directions and do 10 the other way. And then just sit in base position, let your body relax, let your legs relax and take a few deep breaths there. Next we're going to do the ankle crank. It's not as scary as it sounds. So take your right leg and fold it over your left so that it's kind of like a number four and grab your right ankle with your right hand and your left toes with your left hand. Relax your ankle and then just use your hand to make an uh, a circle with your ankle. So you're inhaling forward, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling forward and down so that you're making a circle and do that 10 times. Don't force anything, just have your ankle relax and guide it around in a circle with your hand. Once you've done 10, turn and go the other way, inhaling up and back, exhaling down and forward. Still keep your spine straight and your left leg relaxed. So these are really great for returning the blood from your ankle back up to your heart. So sometimes sitting or staying still for too long, standing for a long time, can make your ankles stiff and uh, your blood kind of settling more in your feet. So these ankle poses are good to uh, return that blood upwards and bring more blood flow into your ankles. So once you've done 10, you can switch and bring your left foot up, cross it over your thigh, Put your left hand on your left ankle and your right hand on your toes. Relax your ankle and then the same thing. So inhaling uh, down and back, exhaling up and forward. Once you've done 10 that way, switch and go the other direction, do 10 the other way. Then when you're done, you can just put your leg back out in front, straighten your spine upwards, lean back on your hands, back in base position. 
And we'll now do kneecap contraction. Uh, so you sit, sit in the base position, and then as you inhale, you contract your right uh, kneecap, which means that you're trying to pull it towards you. So as you inhale, you pull your kneecap up towards you, hold for a few seconds, and then exhale, relax for a few seconds. Inhale, pull your kneecap towards you. Exhale, relax. Inhale, pull it towards you. Exhale, relax. So continue until you've done 10. So once you've done 10 on that side, do 10 on the other side. And when you're done, just take a few breaths, relaxing in base position. And now you can bend your right leg. And for these ones, the next couple of poses, uh, don't practice them if you're having any really uh, severe or bad problems with your lower back, uh, because it could put more strain on it, but in general it should be okay. But, uh, so keep your spine straight, grab your leg with both hands behind your thigh, and then as you inhale, straighten your leg so that it's about 10 centimeters off the ground, and point your toe, and then as you exhale, bring your knee back in towards you and bring your toe back towards your knee. So inhale, forward, point your toe, exhale back, and do that 10 times. So inhale forward, exhale back. When you've done 10, you can just put your leg back down and repeat on the other side. So inhale forward, exhale back.
once you've done 10, you can just put your leg back down and return to base position. And then the next one is more strenuous, so only practice if you're comfortable doing so. But you can grab your behind, uh, grab both legs from behind, and then as you inhale, straighten the legs, keep your back straight as well. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, and do ten. If this is too strenuous, you can just uh, take Shavasana, which is lying flat on your back, or rest in base position and focus on relaxing. And for this, you can just do five to ten, and then come back to base position. So the next one is knee crank. So start from the base position, bend your right leg, grab your behind your thigh, lift your foot up, and then as you inhale, bring your foot to the right and up in a circular motion. Try to straight, straighten your leg at the top, exhale to the side and down. So that's one, so inhale to the side and up, exhale down. So do 10 of those. Try to make a full, smooth circle, keeping the rest of your body relaxed and just moving your knee. And spine straight, as always. So this is a good exercise to bring healing energies into the knee as well as strengthen the ligaments around it so it's less prone to injury. When you've done 10 that way, switch directions and do 10 the other way. And then when you're done, just do the same thing on the left side. When you've done 10 in the first direction, switch and go the other way 10 times. You might have some crackling in your knee. Um, that's normal. As long as it doesn't hurt, it's fine. And then when you've done 10 that way, you can just put your knee back out forward, take a few breaths in base position, congratulate yourself on coming this far. And now we are into the uh, 
half butterfly pose. So these are now uh, hip opening poses that are really helpful if you're having trouble with sitting cross-legged. They're really great for when you get into the standing, the standing hip opening poses like the warrior and the sun salutations and stuff like that. And they're also really good for increasing blood flow into your legs and release, relieving tension that comes from standing or sitting for long periods of time. So start in the base position. Take your right leg and place your foot uh, wherever is comfortable on your thigh. And then put your left hand on your right foot. Uh, and then your other hand on your knee. And first, the first version is you inhale your knee up towards your chest. You just pull it with your hand and keep your leg relaxed. And then exhale, push it down towards the floor. I mean, it probably won't go to the floor, but in that direction. So inhale up, exhale down. And this is just a relaxed movement. You're not forcing anything. So inhale up, exhale down, and continue that 10 times. And feel the movement in the hip joint. And once you've done 10, just come back to stillness. The second part of this pose is you keep your hands exactly where they are. And this one is not coordinated with the breath. So just keep your breathing normal. And you push down gently with your foot and then allow your leg to spring back up. So you push down, let spring. And just create that bouncing mo movement. If it hurts, don't do it. Uh, and it's just meant to be gentle. Don't force anything. So just do that 30 times while breathing normally. And when you've done 30 or however many you're comfortable doing, straighten your leg and then bend it, straighten it again. That's just to realign the knee. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So bend your left leg with your foot on your thigh and then put your right hand on your left foot and your left hand on your knee. As you inhale, bring your knee up. As you exhale, bring it down. Do 10 of those. Inhale up, exhale down. When you've done 10, come back to neutral and do the 30 bounces So you're just pushing down and letting your knee bounce back up while breathing normally. And then bring your foot forward, bend your heel towards your butt and once more straight, just to make sure your knee goes back into its proper alignment. And um, <clears throat> now we're on to hip rotation. So you start with base position again. Bring your right foot to where it was in the same pose, so on your thigh. And then you're gonna make a circle with your knee. So you relax your leg, relax your body, take your right hand and guide your uh, knee around in a circle. So you're inhaling forward and up, exhaling back and down. 
You can use your finger to make a point if you want to watch your finger to help you make a better circle. So continue with your inhaling and exhaling and do 10 of these. Then you can switch directions once you've done 10 and go the other way. And once you've done 10, slowly straighten your right leg, bend your left leg, and repeat on the other side. Whenever you've done 10, and switch directions, go the other way. Continue to have awareness of any sensations in your hip. Bring your awareness on your breath. Be mindful of your thoughts throughout the practice. And whenever you're done 10, you can just bring your leg out straight again. Come back to base position. Take a few breaths. For the next one, it's full butterfly. So you bring both your feet together Try to bring your heels in towards your groin as much as you can without forcing anything and then grab your toes. When you're grabbing your toes, keep your spine straight. So it can be kind of tempting to arch forward and hunch your back, but that just pushes, it puts pressure on your spine. So make sure to keep your spine straight and open your shoulders backwards in butterfly. Take a moment in there. And then, it's similar to the half butterfly, you just do 30 up and down movements gently and maintain a normal breath. So just count 30 bounces with your legs. And then you can come back to stillness. For stage two, uh, you can put your hands on your knees and uh, similar to on when we were doing side to side, you just push down gently with your hands and allow your knees to bounce back up. So you do between 10 and 30, whatever you feel comfortable with. Don't use any force, just gently push your knees down and allow them to bounce back up using your hands. And you can come back to stillness and bring your feet out in front. So that's it for the leg uh, section of these poses. 
And for the next ones, which are with uh, now with your hands and moving up your body more, uh, you can either keep this base position if you like, or you can sit in a cross-legged pose. My preference is to sit in a cross-legged pose, but it's up to you. <clears throat> so the first one is called hand clenching. So you bring your hands out in front of you with your back straight, your arms straight. It can be helpful to kind of pull back a little bit your shoulders. And then reach your hands, palms face down as, fat, as far as you can. So you're stretching every finger as far as it'll go on the inhale. And then on the exhale, put your thumb inside and make a clench your fist. So inhale, open, stretch. Exhale, close and clench. So do that 10 times. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Continue. And then bring your hands back down. <clears throat> For the next one, same thing. Inhale your arms up. Have your arms completely straight throughout the practice. Inhale, fingers up. Exhale, keep your fingers straight and wrist, wrist down. So inhale up, exhale down. Done 10, you can bring your hands back down. Continue watching your breath. So now we're going to start with wrist rotations. So inhale, right arm up. As you inhale, bring it up and to the side and down. Exhale to the left side and up. Oh, sorry, a lightly clenched fist with your thumb on the inside. So inhale. Up, exhale down. Only move your wrist, keep your arm parallel to the ground and totally still. Once you've done 10 that way, you can switch directions. down, inhale your other hand up, parallel to the ground, arm straight, and repeat on the other side, inhale up, exhale down. You've done 10, switch directions, go the other way. These are really good for if you've done a lot of typing or writing. Oh, Casper! <laughs> Sorry, my cat is eating. Casper, no. <laughs> when you've done 10, you can bring your and back down, and then inhale both arms up in front of you, and repeat uh, the circular motions with both arms now, keeping your arms straight, only moving your wrists. 10, 
in one direction. Moving with the breath. And then switch and go the other way. Inhale up, exhale down. back down. Now inhale, arms forward, palms face up, exhale, bring your fingers to your shoulders. So inhale forward, exhale back, do 10. Just move your elbows and keep your upper arms parallel to the ground. Now support your right elbow and then as you inhale, bring it towards you in a circle, exhale back. So inhale towards you, exhale back. Do 10. Once you've done 10 the first direction, switch and go the other way. And once you've done 10, you can bring your arms back down and then repeat with the other elbow. Once you've done 10, do 10 the other way. Bring your hands back down and then so shoulder rotation. So bring both hands to your shoulders and then inhale them forward together and up. Exhale back and down. So do 10 of those. Inhale up, exhale down.
you've done 10, switch and go the other direction. Back down. One that I forgot is you inhale your arms out and exhale them to your shoulders. Inhale out, exhale to your shoulders. Repeat until you've gotten to 10. back down to your knees and then we'll do the neck movements so exhale your head down and then inhale up exhale down towards your chest inhale up repeat until you've done 10 And then come back to neutral. Then as you exhale, bring your ear towards your shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale towards your left shoulder. Inhale up. So do 10 of those. done 10, come back to neutral, and then we'll do them. Uh, inhale, turn your head towards the right, exhale to the center. <laughs> inhale to the left, exhale to the center. So do 10 of those. Then with your eyes closed, have your chin first downwards, inhale to the left and back, exhale to the right and forward, making a circle with your neck. If you feel any dizziness, just stop the practice. Do 10 in that direction. And then when you've done 10 that way, do 10 the other way.
then inhale back to neutral. Take a few breaths. Relax the body. Relax the mind. And that's it for that series of practices. It's good to end with either taking a few moments of meditation, either in sitting, or you can lie down in Shavasana, which is lying on your back with your palms face up and your eyes closed and allowing your entire body to relax. So you can pause the video and do your relaxation pose if you like. So thank you so much for going through this practice with me and I'll continue to make some more yoga series that are appropriate for beginners and hopefully to help clear out any stiffness in the joints and uh, relax the mind and the body. And I hope that this has been a beneficial practice. So thank you so much. And usually yoga is always ended with um, putting your hands together and bowing forward, saying namaste. And namaste means I respect the God in you. So usually you would say that the teacher and the student would say it to each other to acknowledge uh, the goodness or the divine that is in everyone. So you can say namaste and bow if you'd like. And yeah, uh, thank you so much and see you in the next video.